for it is one of the most important technical words in english grammar it is also called preposition in this video we are going to learn five phrases with for how to make sentences with these phrases you are transferring me for no fault of mine i am being harassed for no fault of mine for no fault of mine i was asked to pay the penalty why are you sending me the legal notice for no fault of mine you are making me wait for no fault of mine fine so in these five sentences we are using the phrase for no fault of mine the meaning of this expression is even though i have not done anything wrong though i have not done any mistake i am being punished this is the meaning of this expression second one second expression your car is under repair you can use mine for the time being the books are not available in the market please use our library books for the time being my office is under renovation for the time being i will work from home there are guests at home you sleep in the balcony for the time being your doctor is on leave for the time being our senior cardiologist will take care of you in these five expressions we are using the phrase for the time being the meaning of this phrase is only temporarily at this time till further arrangement is made something which is not permanent fine third one please wait here for a while take rest for a while the baby stopped crying for a while the crowd was silent for a while you sit here for a while before entering the swimming pool in these five sentences we use the phrase for a while the meaning of this phrase is for a very short period of time next fourth expression for better or worse i have decided to invest in real estate we vacated the house for better or worse you get rid of these employees for better or worse we have decided to close the sick companies for better or worse he has been suffering from cough for better or worse you admit him to hospital in these five sentences we use the phrase for better or worse the meaning of this expression is we are ready to face both the good and bad results both the good and bad consequences of some unavoidable action or situation next one let us eat out today for a change every time you drive but for a change let me drive the car today daily i commute by public transport today for a change i am coming by a taxi aren't you bored of eating the same stuff for a change let us go to a chinese hotel today you have been wearing formal dress please try this t-shirt for a change in these five sentences we are using the phrase for a change the meaning is when we do something new or different from what we do usually and commonly we use the expression for a change fine so these five are some of the commonly used phrases with the preposition for they are frequently commonly regularly used both in formal and informal english they are used in conversations debates discussions articles interviews try to understand them and keep using in your english language thank you have a successful learning